As I thought, uh, as a part of this video, I'll just do a small review for Lollipop Chainsaw. I finished this yesterday, just before work, and I have to say, it was really fun. It was pretty short, about six-ish hours, but I paid only eight dollars for it, so it was a good deal for me. You know, it's like a dollar an hour, a little bit less actually, actually a little bit more. Now that I do, now that I, now that I think my mathematics out, that's okay. This is a action game where you play as a lolly, oh no, a chainsaw wielding lollipop sucking cheerleader and she's like a total ditz, she's a real airhead but that's, it's a really funny feature. And at the beginning of the game she's killing all these zombies and she reveals to her boyfriend that she's a zombie hunter but only after he's been bit. And she had to chop off his head and perform a magical ritual on him to restore him back to life, but because his head has been chopped off, he's still only a head, so it's kind of funny. It's actually really funny in that way. I played this all the way through, it has seven levels in it, there's a boss at the end of every level, or like, boss type enemies I guess. Story of the game, doesn't really matter that much, but there's zombies everywhere and you find out that they are being released by this one really like cringy edgy kid at the high school that you go to, San Remo I think it's called yes, San Romero, a ton of breasts you know, I should be able to see that immediately, right? But yeah, zombies are being released from there from a uh, kind of rotten world I think they call it and there are like these boss zombies that spawn other zombies so you have to go in, kill the four boss zombies and then a big boss zombie spawns and you have to kill him too and once you've done that, game is over. You're reunited with your family and you're happy. It's a lot of fun. As far as gameplay is concerned, it's a lot like, um, a bit like Devil May Cry, where it's a hack and slash, you're just going through doing like button combos and stuff, but I enjoy it. It's pretty good. It is a very cheap game to get. The music is good too. It has a lot of licensed music, like the, um, the boyfriend's name is Mickey, or Nikki, so it plays, Oh Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind in Mickey. Whenever you do like a special move, so it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, this definitely has a lot of humor. It's made by the same guy who made No More Heroes, and he makes really funny games, so. I definitely give this one a recommendation, just a short review. It's really fun. If you like hack and slash games, if you like uh, quirky, really funny games, definitely check this one out. It's a lot of fun. It's very cheap and very short, so it's not a whole lot of investment to get into. Alright. I have a few things to send out today, so we'll do like a day in the life kind of thing, a little mini adventure. Sold this Pokemon Moon for 25 bucks. It is brand new sealed, unfortunately, it's developed a rattle. Ugh. Uh, V8 Supercars Australia 3. Well, this is actually a copy I got yesterday. I sold a copy for $15 earlier this week, and now I have another copy, and it has sold. Great condition. Five bucks to fifteen, why not? And one I sold on the cheap to get out of here, twelve dollars, Duke Nukem time to kill. One of my regular buyers bought it, it has a crack in the case, so I will be doing a case swap. I already have all the stuff written out for these, so for the lip smack. But we're going out to return someone to CEX, so I'm also going to do that. Stuff I'm taking to CEX today, we have Disney's Up, a little Star Wars, and the Predator, Spyro. And GTA, went to the tip shop on Saturday and found these, they were super cheap. So it doesn't really matter what they give me, I'll come out on head. Also at the markets, these were five for a dollar, so I grabbed these. Smallville, Hook, keep this one, Fantasia 2000. Dexter, third season, really funny show. Fight of the Concords, how does this only get two seasons? Found three other things in the market. This was ten bucks. Super Dragon Ball Z. I thought it was a good deal. It only goes for around that much, but it was in good condition. These were two for ten. Bioshock given the complete edition, which means I can probably take my normal cop to CEX. And God of War 3 the collector's edition, which I can take my normal cop to CEX. So yeah. Pretty good deals all around. Also grabbed a book for a dollar. Troll Mountain. I'm going to take something that I've had trouble selling. There we go. Roll it 3. I'm trying to get 20 bucks, but because of this thing here, I just think no one wants it, so I'll take it to CEX. They'll give me a good price. Before I leave, I'll show you this. The reason I'm going to CEX today 
Have to return this again. They sent me another copy of White Knight Chronicles. Well, they didn't even bother sending me a like receipt thing this time, so I just have to show it on my phone. I'll also show you this stuff that I got at a local op shop right near my work. This stuff was two dollars each. Halo Anniversary. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Halo 4. Halo 3. And Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. So I'm taking all those to CEX. Just whatever they give me, they give me. I just, they were cheap enough that I couldn't leave them there. And if I make my money back on them, that's fine. I know they're not worth much. Alright, let's go. Wrong way. There is up ahead. We'll be going in and have a look around. Not sure if I'll really find anything, but... Step over that, and I'll show you if I do. Cash and has been a successful trip. So an off shop here that we'll go into real quick. Alien. Every Pokemon in here. Holy shit. Priced. Prices are steep. Okay, that's all done. Sorry for the noise of cars. I just heading back to the car now. I'm gonna have a few more op shops. I went to CEX, traded all that stuff in. Got like 90 bucks credit, which is good. Spent it in store. I got a copy of Mario Odyssey, which is awesome. Nice to finally get a copy of that. I've heard nothing but good things about it, man. You know, Switch is really. We didn't have those good games. I was going to get a copy of Neo Automata as well, but uh, it was still like 70 bucks, and that's one I'll be able to get super cheap down the line, you know. It'll be 20 bucks in a couple of years, and I'll play it then. Yeah, we'll get up a few more. I've also traded in two copies of Wii Sports Resort to EB Games. They're like 30 bucks trading credit for them, so that's pretty good, because they're doing a pretty good trade-in deal right now. Alright, let's go! Also say I got that uh, brought that copy of Why Not Chronicles back, and I'll just get the twenty one dollars back into my PayPal account. And unfortunately, online it's a lot more than twenty one bucks, but that's okay. I'll just uh, I'll just not buy it for a bit. I'll find another cheap one of these days. Ching on my phone, and I sold a copy of Animal Crossing on the DS for twenty bucks. Got that yesterday for five at a garage sale. Pretty good on my part. They got one ten. I wasn't having any of it, and now I got twenty for it. in there. A couple of PS3 games, but one was missing a disc and one was kind of dirty, so I just left them. <sighs> Don't really need them. Oh well. On to the next spot. For today, local salvos. Greatness can only be accomplished with... It's a funny way to spell B.O. It's a water pillow. Oh, you need a welding mask? Ten bucks. Bit of footage in there. All media half off. Pretty cool. These were down to a dollar each. Lost Planet. Good game. Halo 3. Street Fighter 4. Planet of the Apes. Brand new and sealed. Shout out to Mike. Vampire Mike. Dollar fifty for Lion King 2. Got the DVD and the Blu-ray. Simpsons game, really fun game, and Star Wars The Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels, which looks fun, looks interesting. I also got a pair of pants for six bucks, and the Fletcher Jones, which is a good brand. Alright, that'll do it. Let's go home and I'll do a little bit of a recap. Hi, cute cat. Oh, now she's lounging under a car. What a cutie. Alright, let's show you some of the stuff I got. Didn't get a whole lot. I only actually got 
one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games, which is... Yeah, that's okay, that'll be all I can do for the week because work starts up again tomorrow. I'll show you guys what I got just from that op shop. You saw Lion King 2. My girlfriend really likes this, so I'll be sending this to her. Planet of the Apes, really fun. Love that movie. Street Fighter 4, it's going into CEX. Halo 3, into CEX. And Lost Planet Extreme Conditions, into CEX. Yeah, I only paid like five bucks for all of those, so I mean, whatever I get is fine. And I'll show you guys, show you guys them last. From CX, I got like 90 bucks credit, so I grabbed Super Mario Odyssey. Heard nothing but good things about this. It looks really, really good. Definitely gonna sit this, sit down and play this one today. And for 10 bucks, this had a price. Reduction, so I grabbed it. Ratatouille. I want to get all of these, like, um, like Disney Pixar games on the PlayStation 3. This does need a new case, but that's okay. I would like to get all of these. There's quite a few to get, actually, so... Yeah, it'll be a good adventure to get them all, because they're kind of expensive a little bit, some of them. I don't know why. Yeah, this one is really fun on the PlayStation 2, actually. It also grabbed... Star Wars Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels. This looks interesting. Definitely give this one a go. And the Simpsons game, which I already have on PlayStation 3, so this one will be to take into Computer Exchange. And two more games. I came home to these in the mail. This one was $9 off the Catching Rose website. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Did not have this one, I had the second one. This is a lot of fun. I played. Both of the Star Wars Unleashed games, they're just really, really cool. Remember, these are like early games on the PlayStation 3, and you could really see the power of the console of these. And one I've wanted for a while, Warriors Legends of Troy. This is like a Dynasty Warriors spin-off. It's made by Koei. And it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be just like Dynasty Warriors, except with a Gladiator theme. And I love Gladiator games, like uh, Sword of Vengeance on the PlayStation 2, that one. Really good. All right. That's all I got. I am going to take the kayak out later, but I won't be able to show you guys that because this camera isn't waterproof and my action camera doesn't want to work, unfortunately. But it was nice to do a little bit of game hunting for you guys. I might do some more in the near future, just it all depends on how I feel, you know. If I want to whip out my phone and film something, I'll film something. If I don't want to whip out my phone and film something, I don't. That's just the way it is. Alright. Ooh. A big shout out to Carl Kish. Uh, YouTuber, he's been going for three years, he's at like 460 subs. One of those rising in popularity YouTubers, I think he's going to be really popular and really big pretty soon, so... Yeah, good to jump on it now. He's a really funny guy, really sweet. He did this like crazy stunt where he rode his shovel down the stairs, and I was going to do a stunt myself, but he told me not to, so... I'll relax on it for now, maybe I'll leave it just to the professionals, alright. And that'll do me. Sigma has been you guys farewell. I'm going to have lunch because I have not had breakfast yet. Have a good one, you guys. Stay safe.